Hello and welcome back to Revender in Sports and another unboxing. I'm going to talk today about custom insoles, but before I get started on the topic of the day, I want a disclaimer. Um, I purchased these for myself under a program they call Employee Purchase Program. If anyone's ever worked in a bike shop, that's the the hook that keeps you working at a bike shop. And so there is wholesale pricing, which is pricing I would purchase something for the store for inventory, and then there's employee purchase, which is you're buying something for personal use. And of course, the vendor manufacturer wants to get you on the product. And so they give you an incentive of somewhere from 10 to 20% off of wholesale pricing. So. I did purchase these. These were not given to me by Lake Cycling. So I wanted to get that out from the very beginning. Uh, there'll always be that type of transparency. Sometimes I forget to give that disclaimer at the beginning, but anything I review on this channel, I've purchased with my own funds and not always in an employee purchase program situation because some vendors don't even offer it. Okay, so these are Lake uh, branded <laughs> They're made by a company called Sick Soul. Sick S Y K S O L. Sick Soul. And, you know, first, let's talk about why you may want a custom insole. I've always told people that you can take an excellent shoe and turn it into an exceptional shoe uh, with a custom insole. Or maybe even an insole that's not custom, but the custom insole, something that is heat moldable like this, will, will take that shoe from just an excellent, great, great, great shoe to an exceptional shoe. So um, that's one thing. So it'll, it'll improve your fit of the shoe. Um, a lot of the, the soles that come in um, some of these shoes, they're very plain Jane. Um, they have no real rigidity to them. Like I just did an unboxing of this shoe here on a different video. And this is the, <laughs> this is the cheap insole that comes in your shoe. Um, you know, this is a $500 shoe. And you might say, well, why does it come with such a cheap insole? It's a $500 shoe. Well, maybe because they also know that if someone's buying a $500 shoe, a $550 shoe, they are someone who has either got a custom insole already, maybe they have some orthotics, or they're going to step up to a custom insole. So I just want to read what they say. So stabilizing the foot with a supportive insole is the best way to improve comfort, increase performance, and protect against injuries. So that's why you, I wouldn't say should, should's a pretty heavy word, but it would make sense to, to improve any of those things. Reducing injuries is obviously a good one. I like a, um, an aftermarket insole because I like to have a good arch support and as a bike fitter I want the, um, the athlete, the, the cyclist to, if they have good arch support then the knee doesn't, you know, it, it doesn't collapse in and they can track the knee straight over their toes. For some folks, um, you know, they have all kinds of other things going on. And so, you know, maybe they, they need a, a, a pedal with a lot of float or something like that. I ride a fixed cleat. I've never been a fan of speed play pedals or anything that has way too much float. Um, but a good way to help the knee track straight and to prevent injuries is to have a, um, a hard insole. Now, um, I remember, oh, actually, let me show you this. So 
So this was the old program that SQLab would have where you, this has a, um, a heat transfer, kind of uh, the shape of your insole and your arch in particular. And then based on what you could see there, where there is a low, you know, flat-footed person, a high arch, then you would also look at what their knees were doing, knock-kneed, bow-legged, or just standard, and then you would recommend an insole based on that, right? So you take something from column A, something from uh, row A, row B, and then you would come up with the appropriate insole. On a personal level, I just like a high insole, um, um, like for a high arch, because I, I, do, I do like the way that support is sitting there. Um, so these are heat, they call it formable, moldable. Um, so I will go through the process of getting these done um, and shoot another video. Um, I'll have to do it at home with an oven, of course. But um, I'm really interested on how this will fit compared to my SQ Lab insoles, which are the insoles I've been riding for a long time. Um, this is antimicrobial, so the foam, you know, so your feet don't, so your shoes don't stink, right? So antimicrobial and lightweight and all that other stuff. So for the weight weenie, it adds about 80 grams of weight to your shoes, um, you know, 40 grams per. So I don't think that's a big deal, but some people might, um, it, I don't know, people obsess about some of the dumbest stuff, but um, I am looking forward to getting these molded. The first thing I'm going to do is ride them without molding them. Now, someone on um, my 403 uh, custom pink shoes, uh, one of the comments in the, in the comment section was, do a heat, do a um, molding video and the shoes fit so great. I didn't have to do anything. I just put them on and they fit great. But by the third or fourth ride, I started to notice because the rides got longer. I started to notice a little bit of pain here and it seems now I've got three pair of the CX 403s on every single pair, my right foot. I've had to, um, this little thing that comes to a point here, I've had to kind of heat it up and stretch it out a little bit. So, um, but the process itself, I'll have to study up on this, get it um, done after I ride them in their natural state, um, because my guess is they're gonna fit great anyway. Um, so the molding is, a nice thing but I may not need it we don't know we'll see okay that is all for today if you'd like to see that video of the molding please drop a comment down below if you wear custom insoles from this brand or any other brand drop a comment down below and um, tell me if it's helped or oh, if you wear orthotics as well I would like to know okay Thank you so much for tuning in. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you up the road.